struggling back in school. And if they, they can whoop your kids, it, but you can't. They had not left it alone. Left us alone with our children. They wouldn't have to worry about them out here being in the struggle, robbing, stealing, killing, because you did not allow us to chastise our children and correct them the way we need to. Right. I just exactly. buried my son last year for the same doggone thing because people got too much and too far in our black community, in our black business, with our kids. Leave us alone. Right. Right. Let hey, us you know. be mothers and fathers and take care and raise our children. Brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. So you're supposed to be teaching your kids, starting off with the Passover, the first high holy day we, we, we celebrate. We're supposed to be teaching our kids the high holy day. And it's going to tell you how to teach them when it comes to the high holy day, the Passover. If you're not teaching your kids about the high holy days, but you're teaching them about holidays, we have a serious problem, man. And that means you really don't love your kids at the end of the day. Because if you love them, you will teach them who the Most High God really is. Because like I said, man, the Most High God don't give a damn, man. You think Sodom and Gomorrah didn't have children in there? Definitely had children in Sodom and Gomorrah, but the Most High God still destroyed that place. Uh, Simple. And he gonna destroy America also. Uh, it says, who passed over that house of the children of Israel in Egypt when the when he smoked the Egyptian and delivered our houses. And, and the people bowed the head and worshiped. And the children of Israel went away and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aharon. So did they. And it came to pass that at Midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne until the firstborn of the captive that was in the king, I mean, in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the cattle. Right, that's self explanatory. We were just talking about it. Like, Most High God took out the firstborn, the children. Right. So he'll take out your kids too if you ain't teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments. You're supposed to be teaching your kids about the Passover. That's what we're going on right now. You're supposed to teach your children that the Most High God delivered you, us, and our children out from Egypt. And he smote the firstborn of the Egypt. We're supposed to put the blood on our doorposts and all. You're supposed to teach your children this out of the Bible. Uh. This is the first steps on teaching your children. This is probably the first thing you want to teach your children. Oh, starting with the name first. Let's say that. Then you, the first high holy day is the Passover. Because uh. that's the first high holy day we came into when we came out of the wilderness. All right. Like, and it's talking to you, brother, like you are the descendants of the Bible. So you teach your children that we are the descendants that come from the Bible and you're supposed to be teaching your children the Bible. And to show that, um, so we have a better, we have a bigger heritage than slavery. Because a lot of people think that, I know when I grew up uh, going to school that uh, my, my history started in slavery. That's what I thought, right? right. So uh, when you find out that this Bible is actually speaking to me personally and my family, this is my, this is my uncles and aunties, really? my great uncles and aunties, that we have a bigger history than uh, than what they told us. That our holidays, like your brother said, our holy days is, is, is more than, like we shouldn't be celebrating the holy uh, the holidays of the world, right? We should be celebrating what the Most High God gave the children of Israel. And there's holy days, like uh, the, the Feast of First Fruits is coming up, Passover, right? Uh, uh, so we have we have our own holy days that we gotta follow up. And I know uh, this is third, this is third John chapter one, in verse four, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. Uh, right? He said he has no greater joy than to hear his children walking in the truth. And when we walk in the truth, we follow after the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? He told us how to walk. Right? He told us how to treat our brothers, to love our brothers as ourselves. Right? He gave us laws to do, what to do. Right? He gave us uh, holy days to follow after. Right? So we ain't just following after everybody else. Deuteronomy 7 6, we're, we're, greater, we're greater people than everybody else. Uh, let me get that because I know I'm quoting, even though I know it, I should know it. Deuteronomy 7 6, it's saying, For thou art a holy people, so we 
as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we're separate from everybody else. Holy means separate. Kodash in Hebrew, it means separate, right? It means holy. So we're separate from everybody else. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. The Lord thy God has chosen thee, he has chosen us to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on the face of the earth. So we're special and above all people on the face of the earth. But how are we above all people on the face of the earth? By following after the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You got something? That was uh, those laws, you know what I'm saying? When the new law came into play, you know what I'm saying? It's for everybody, though. What's the new law? You know what I'm saying? When Jesus came through, you know what I'm saying? The ultimate blood sacrifice for everybody, though. And the Gentiles and everybody, too. And what's not, not just that? For sure, I don't know. See, so, that, you know what that's called? You know what that's called? Alright, let me show you. Go to Deuteronomy 4 and go to uh, Revelation 2. Done. Right. It's the right. book of. Deal with him, Mark. Deal with him. Alright. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 2. Ye should not add unto the word which I commanded you. Neither shall you diminish out from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. All right, so he, what he's saying is that what you were taught, that's something that you were taught. That's not what's actually in the Bible, uh, right? So, yeah, you're, so to be to, to say that, yeah, I can point that well, say, we're, we're, well we're from what we have seen, we haven't seen that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got first John? Okay, I got something too. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's, I got this. It's the story in the Bible when you read it, when he explains that. that, that the covenant is saying for the old law, you know what I'm saying? See, the Romans is saying the old law. All right, so look, yeah, that's Moses, what they say. I got it. Hey, I got it. So this is exactly why I said bring our revelation. I want the point of me doing that is I want to show you in the beginning he said it and in the end. Right. Simple as that. I knew you was going to probably do that, though. So read that one more time. I want you to pay attention to it. Con, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 2. You should not add unto the word which I commend you, neither shall you diminish out from it. So diminish means takes away, right? All right, read that. This is Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words, slot, verse 18. Uh, huh. Verse 18. For if I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. You're hearing it, right? If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life right, and so, out of the holy city. Right, so the, the that's why I showed you in the beginning and in the end, bro. What you say, you have to make sure it's in the Bible before right. you say that, man. Because you can be taken out of the book of life or you can be have plagues added into you. Simple, bro. What you just said is not in the Bible, bro. Or we would have found it and we would have brought forth it. But... The Bible tells us to come out here and teach our people. We are here. We're not out here for these damn these red people. We're not out here for these East Indians in the store. We are here for the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. I rock, I rock and roll. Listen, everywhere I go. What? I say I rock and roll everywhere I go, and the Lord's always with me though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I will I, be here now, and I'll be here later on too though. So how the Lord with you, brother? And you I just mean, said that I mean, you just what, said something that wasn't in the Bible. But you just said though, if, if you were you know, saying addressing, you do all the things you ain't supposed to do. You said it's not true. Things will happen to you. Nothing's gonna happen to me, bro. So, so, so they're so telling you right there, though. I believe in the Bible. I believe in the Lord. I believe in the truth, though. What's your word to say? Then they just said, truth will be revealed, though. Just acts. 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 Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So, 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 so to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Israel, if you read Deuteronomy 1 and 1, bro, Israel is the only people that was led out of Egypt. That's right. It was the Egypt, Egyptians was not with them. It was Israel. Nobody else was with them, bro. So for you to say that, bro, you're adding to the scriptures, bro. Right, um, so look, let me show you something else. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Matthew 2 and 6. Uh, every every, every man, though, has got a child, though. Sugar is in. And, if, and if you need everybody to be forgiven. I'm going to ask them. You steady, after we just showed you, you're steady adding to the scriptures. No, no. What you're saying is right there, though. If God says it's true. But you're just messing up. Huh? This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Uh, and she shall bring forth a son. Old covenant is in one. Old school. Old school. Old school. God, this is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Hey, this is exactly, hold on. This is exactly what we talk. That's why I appeal with this lesson to come out here and teach this. He is way older, but he's shaking up. I know that blood hand, that handshake. Instead of teaching him who the, who the most high God really is, he, he trying to show him how to correctly do a damn handshake, bro. No, I was... Bro, man. you're teaching, it's instead good. of teaching your ch children how to walk in the truth, bro, because he considered a youth. You're supposed to teach them how to walk into the truth, not teach them how to become a master at being a blood. Simple as that. No, no, Read no. that one more time. I didn't mean to interrupt you, all, but don't, don't judge the book. By the okay, so look, all right, so, bro. You know me, y'all. Everywhere right, I go, right, I, I know about you. Right so me. listen, all right, so, what, first, though, all right, so old school, me. let's keep it a dollar. We know you, we know, we already dealt with you. What, is, what was that handshake? Uh, Thank you. I know what it is. It's the you, and he's the you. You're supposed to be teaching him to fear God and keep his commandments. But you, and I can see you already had the red on. I already know what's going on. Pull that out right quick. So I want to continue on this. This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah. For he shall read it verbatim. Listen, you said you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Listen. God, this is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. It says his people from their sins. It didn't say the world. I got 26. So, like I said, bro, you add into the scriptures doing that. Now read that 26. God, this is Matthew chapter 2, this verse 6. This is all six. throughout the Bible, bro. And now Bethlehem and the land of Judah art thou the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. 21 and 22. No, everybody. My people Israel. So it's not for everybody. Can I say something? No, hold on. Hold on. I got you. I want to show you, bro, that you're adding to the script. Hit 15 and 24 now. 221, 22, 24. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Go ahead. Bring that out to me. Drop down to 21. All right. Yeah, yeah. X. Bro, ain't nobody here trying to make you look bad or nothing. What I'm trying to show you is, bro, you add to the scriptures, bro, and you can't do that. That's, that's, that's my problem. So what is he saying that I need you're saying is wrong? I need to this is what he's saying. This is, this, is a, this is what he quoted. Check it out. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, that's what you quoted, right? Let's read the next verse. Ye men, men of, of Israel, Israel, hear these, these words. words. Who was he Ye talking to? Israel. Right. That's right. That's the New Testament. But, and, and, bro, look, this is the thing. You're Israel. He, he's talking to you, bro. He's, and you're trying to give your salvation to people that hate you, bro. Which is, you can't be doing that. Those are enemies. No, that's not what that's talking about. Old school. Old school. Old school. That's not what that's talking about. This brother right here can be your... Matter of fact, a perfect example. You from blood, right? A crip is your enemy, right? It's not talking about no damn heathen. There's a lot that ain't going to talk about, you know? Huh? There's a lot that was saying you saying towards men, though, man. Right, you right. What you saying is a lie, man. You talking about the enemy outside of our nation. This Bible is only talking about our... Who is the enemy? The enemy is your brother, just like uh, Saul and, and, and John. Or, uh, Saul and who, who is your Who is your brother? Or your brother? That's that's Leviticus amongst your 19. tribe. That's amongst these tribes right here. The Book of Leviticus, chapter okay, nineteen, verse eighteen. I bring it out. The Book yeah. of Leviticus. And and this, all be black people. Hey, this is God's word. Yeah. Well, that's why I just said these people on this tribe. Cause look, bro, if you look on this tribe. Cubans, Puerto Ricans, these are your brothers and sisters, and we understand that Puerto Ricans and blacks hate each other, bro. Mexicans hate Negroes. Y'all hate them too. But y'all rather show love to the white man than y'all Mexican brothers, man. Uh, Simple as that. Say, though, I know it's a proper way to grow, but uh, right. we understand what the Lord though. We, you know, when we do it a certain way, we don't solve nothing though, you make it worse. So I was gonna say, brother, y'all continue to do what you do. And I'm proud of you. So you said we're not getting nowhere with you? No, no. I want you to message to be heard of. But if it comes to a way you do it, where it's arguing about what you're going to grow like well, that. Well, who's though. arguing? I was going to. The tone and all that goes. I'm talking. Can I bring you something? I'll come back later. I mean, we're just reading the Bible. That's what we're doing.
That's in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, well, verse 18. Be spread, is that the only way you can Are you believing the Bible? Let's listen to the Bible. Let's listen to the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So who is the neighbor? Your people. Your people. people Who's your people? So people look, on that side. So look, I want to show you this is a condition amongst our people, and it's called Stockholm Syndrome. Done. And this is what's going on amongst our people, and this is what the Jim Crow era has done. The old Jim Crow era has done to our people. Read that. Con, Stockholm Syndrome. It's a condition in which hostages develop a psychological uh, alliance with their captors during captivity. Emotional bonds may be formed between between captor and captive during intimate time together. But these are generally considered irrational in light of danger of risk endured by the victim. Right, and that's what they, they treat you like victims still to this day. You still a slave and you still over here trying to make an alliance with them and trying to preach salvation to them, bro. You're, you're preaching salvation to people that hate you and don't give a damn about your salvation, bro. That's Simple. What's up? Uh, when you were saying about the neighbor, I read this, this one verse, you know what I'm saying, I ain't tight with the exact verses and all that, like, yeah, but you know what I'm saying, it was this, this dude who asked Jesus, who is who is thy neighbor, you feel me? He, he said, uh, he said, y'all know what I'm talking about? What, what verse yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 that's what I was about to say. Read, read it again. It tells you what our neighbor is in the Torah, bro. And that's what Jesus quoted. He quoted, he quoted the Old Testament. Jesus quoted the Old Testament. This is Leviticus 19 and 18. This is the verse that Jesus quoted. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, against the children of your people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. That's what Jesus quoted. I'm talking about the one when he was like, who is thy? It was like a, a tax dude or a Pharisee or something like that. He was like, he asked Jesus, who, and then who is thy neighbor? He thinks about the parable. You know about? Yeah, he said a parable. It was yeah. a parable about the Samaritan. And yeah, the Samaritan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about Matthew 15. I mean, we got to go back to the hey, beginning. We read all the way through. Mm -hmm. Right. You write about that, old school. Because Definitely today, right. The Bible is full of parables and everything like that, too. And what's in one verse over here is in the same verse right here. Exactly. In the middle, too. So look, this is something I want to show you. This what he's trying to say. Like I'm going through his eyes, his understanding, not our own. Right. Definitely. We study the Bible every day, bro. We was up till four in the morning studying the Bible last night. You know what I need to do? I need to go home and start reading it. No, you need to do what I see. We're to help you. You're not gonna do it by yourself. I'm telling you that now. I ain't. And I, I, I got, I got friends everywhere though. You got us. They don't know the Bible. Some people do. That's why everybody walking around blind. No. Some people are more. They think they. Than they than the same. But we bring them all together, though, we're going to be true, though. Every day, if you're religious, though. Listen, listen to this, I was going to say. God wants to know something. All right, all right. So you said about the gospel and the Lord. This is John chapter 4 and verse 22. This is uh, Jesus talking. We worship, we know not what. We know what we worship for salvation, salvation is of the Jews. Jews. You know what that means? It says salvation is of the Jews. How much you do it? Go ahead. tribes of Israel. It's like you how many how many gates is it in the Bible? Is it one pearly gate? Is it one pearly gate old school? How many gates is it? Huh? Yeah, no, I got you. It is Ezekiel 34 uh the last chapter in Ezekiel and then go to Revelation 2. Alright, read that. Alright, Con. This is the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. Come, let me read from the top. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels. So we see that there's twelve gates and twelve angels at these gates. We see that there's twelve tribes, right? Go ahead. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. No, everybody. That's children of Israel. Israel. Children of Israel is on their name. Well, so what tribe you come from? 
Come here. Come here, old school. What tribe you come from? You gotta look on his side, old school. Huh? So are you a Negro? Are you a West Indian? Are you Haitian? Are you Dominican? What does the world call you today? If you fill an application, what would you put on there? Black, African American, so you would be from that tribe. tribe Negro. But that's not tribal. But why? Who's, who's to say that? That's what I'm saying. Who am I to say what's tribal? Well, we we showing you. By doing diligent research, our elders put this chart together, bro, for the people. And it tells you in Ezekiel how to do it. Get that right quick. Go to Ezekiel 37. Let me show you something. I ain't trying to just be a certain way. I got to have that feeling. Yeah, I get you. I ain't trying to go. So this is the I don't lean on what man says. So we're going after the Bible. So we're bringing up the word too. So we don't want to go after feelings. Because feelings will lead us astray. Which is everybody's walking after their own feelings. The Bible says lean not into your own understanding. So you've got a special gift in your own understanding. Alright, so I was going to go. So I'm about to show you what's going on with this. Yeah, and you can be good at showing us the experience when it comes to life, bro. But you can't do that if you're worrying about what's going on in the streets and worrying about how to shake up with young youngsters, bro. Yeah, they're your people, but you're supposed to be leading them in the way to everlasting. Who else would be a preacher on this? Somebody who said they know them. They said they trust them, respect them. You make the change or you leave them. So look, right? By showing you it's okay to bang and think you gonna make it out of that, that's a deception. I met, I met a lot of this good brothers out here, different sets on us, different sex on us. Right, I get that. I get that. All right, so bring this out right quick. Uh, it's the book of Ezekiel, hey, chapter thirty-seven, verse twelve. No. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. I speak to I know it. Hey, so look, it says he he says, son of man, prophesy to you. Yo, 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 y'all got me, y'all got me, and y'all put me on y'all y'all put me on y'all horn. Hey, hey, bro, come here, come here, come here, talk to me. No, you the one that did no. So look, read this again. God, Ezekiel 37 and 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, right. Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Right, so this is the, the most high God telling Ezekiel to tell the people, He's going to open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves. And then what it's talking about is not talking about literally being dead, it's talking about the deep sleep that was in, like how you see everybody around here. Everybody in deep sleep, they don't know that they're the children of Israel. They don't know that they God's chosen people. They out here acting like they some damn rude beasts. Hey, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I he said, I will put my I, I am. And you shall live. What the, hey, what you know, the fuck? Hey, I am. Oh, cool. Listen. Listen. I am. I am the Lord God. Listen. Hey, that's blasphemy like that's last time. That's how you No, he ain't blasphemy, nigga. I am. He, he, he never told you that. He never gave you hey, he never gave you my name, but I am. He gave he gave he gave his name, I am. You say I'm I just say I'm thinking blasphemy. He gave his name, he gave his one name. You say I am the Lord God, your father. And I am. Yeah, I am. So look, so look. Continue. Hey, listen, old school. I got you. Listen. Verse 14. And shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then you shall know that the Lord has spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it. Old school. I'm trying to show you what this chart is about, Oscar. You can't be listening with your eyes closed. All right, look. So look, I have to show you this, Oscar. I am. Go ahead. He says, I am. Go ahead. Uh, verse 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Right, so it says, take one stick 
and right upon Judah and uh, his companions, right? So Judah is, is the Negro. And he said his companions is Benjamin and Levi. This could be considered the southern tribes. So it says, write a stick. That's the one stick. Uh, and the stick is, uh, in the translation, is a tablet or a, uh, or a piece of paper, however you want to break that down. But this is what we're doing. We, this is the beginning of the stick. Go ahead. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel's companions. Right, so in the other stick, we're supposed to write for the, the northern kingdom. Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. We're supposed to create another stick for Ephraim and his companions, which is the rest of the ten tribes. So, continue. And join them one to another and to one stick. It says join them one to another and one stick, bro, and this is where we get these 12 tribes chart. We put Judah and his companions and Ephraim and his companions and we put them on one stick. And this is where we, we don't literally put them on a damn stick. We put them on a paper. And we, we bring it out here and show the people that these are your brothers and sisters, man. And you're not supposed to be showing hate toward them. Continue. And they shall become one in thy hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will they not show us what thou meanest by thee? Say unto them. Right, and it's people that's going to come up to us and be like, What the hell is this talking about? What is this talking about? Like the brother, he didn't know what it's talking about. So you know what he did? He tried to say, Basically, that he ain't on this chart because he don't know what is going on. So go ahead. Say unto them, say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I will take this stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one. They shall be, be one in my hand. Like, right. We are one stick in the Most High God's hand. We all worship the same God. Yahweh Bar Shem Mashiach Yahusha. Uh, From Judah down to Issachar, we all worship the same God. This is that stick in the Most High God's hand, that paper, that tablet that's in the Most High God's hand. At the end, at the end of all this. So, I don't know uh, let's go back. To it. I know one of his thoughts was uh, he just told me is that uh, Jesus, I mean, he was supposed to bring everybody together. That's what. He said. Hey man, that Hebrews eight and eight man, right, you can't get that around that man. Right, I was Right. <laughs> I was holding the whole time. What? I was holding the whole time. 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 I was holding what I was just bringing out is, what's our God said he's going to bring Judah and his companions together. And he's going to bring Sim, uh, Ephraim and his companions together. This is where we get this stick, this uh, paper from, Old School. It comes from the Bible. Is not the rest of the world according to No, Old School. Yeah, actually, it not. It let, me, let me show you, Old School. This second is 6 and 54. And give Isaiah 40. Time. Bring it out, Doc. Huh? Can we just talk? I mean, talk to without the Bible? No, they ain't the Bible's all weird though. This is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna show you the scripture and then we gonna we gonna talk about I'm gonna something. show you why I say that. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17. Alright, so look, old school. Old school. That's like God got it uh here. What's the book of Jeremiah? Chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked. The heart is what? Desperately wicked. wicked. Bro, you cannot go with your own mind, old school. That's why the people are in the condition. That's why everybody has a different doctrine, different religion. Because we're living in sin. See, we're born into this world of sin, see? That's why we need the Lord. We depend on him. Please. Bro, see how every time when people are so spiritual, they don't get it. This is what you want. What am I supposed to get, though, bro? This is what you want. Old school, you don't understand that you are the most high God's people and how spiritual you are and the fact that how you're, you're at a low degree I'm, I'm trying to say our people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge right? simple as that you're despising not wisdom knowledge and understanding we understand we see how spiritual our people can be but we also see the condition that they are in and all thing you have to do is humble yourself and listen and maybe you will understand it or if not you're going to be walking up and down these streets to the lord rain destruction over there in the mirror right now everybody grab one and what you just said you said in the mirror for everybody too not just me for you you and you and you Bro, though, for the, for the Israelites. Alright, so, so look. Mighty. 
So you, look, we gonna get this established because you keep, under, you got the understanding that God loves everybody. We supposed to care about everybody, right, old school? You agree? You're supposed to love thy neighbor, you know what I mean? We just showed you who that was, but go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 17. Uh, 15. 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Right. Behold, he taking up the owls of, as, as a very little thing. And let them out. Christianity failed us horribly, old school. Uh, and that's see, what I'm trying to show you. Since the beginning of the time, since man, see? Um, man is still God, though. Since man is still God. So look, old school, school. let me ask you a simple you question, old school. Sins of the, of the father be fed. Let me ask you a simple question, right? So you're a Christian, right? No, I'm a man. What, uh, you're, you just said you was in a religion, right? I don't follow religion. What do you follow? I follow the truth. What's the truth? The truth is God. Though. How do you know what the truth? Everybody thinks they have the truth. What is your foundation? What is your blueprint on the truth? I'm 44 years old. Okay. And at the age 40, I woke up though. God been rocking and rolling me ever since. I know who's true. You said you said we make it seem like God is a bad or an evil person, right? You said that. But you said we make it seem like the evil person. You don't care about nobody else but these people and everybody else. But, 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 yeah, that's true. That that's true. This is Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me, me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So if it seems evil to you to serve the most high God, bro, you will. Yeah, you're going to be in for the rude awakening. Over. One more scripture, I'm going to get in and I got you. This is Job, chapter 32, verse 7. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 6, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also... Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Hey, we all come from Adam, right? Old school, do we all come from Adam? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Of him come we all. Right, we all come from Adam. And the people also whom whom thou hast chosen. So if out of all of, uh, all of us right now, and I say, I choose you, what does that mean? I choose you, right? To, to, to be near unto me. If I choose you about anything, everybody else going to look at it like he got favoritism. He chose him because of whatever reason. But they're going to look some type of way, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to be looking that way. Let them. Because I chose you. God Continue. Verse 55. Oh, school. Oh, school. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made us the world for our sakes. So the world is created for you, old school. It's not created for everybody. These people you're trying to save is supposed to be your servants, bro, whether you want to believe that or not. As simple as that. And it's going to tell us, it's going to give us some more. 